Hello, this is progression and series lesson 4.3. In this, I will discuss questions on series. The first question is written here: one plus one into two plus two into three plus three into four up to twenty into twenty one. We need to find the sum of this series. How to find sum of this series? Here, as in the previous lesson, I won't break uh, this series into plus and minus. Here, we will find the nth term. You know that in the first term, term number one, the first term is one. The first number in the first term is one. First number in the second term is two. And the first number in third term is three. So what will be the first number in n term? Here I will find the only n term. First number in n term would be n, because first number in the first term is one. In the second term is two. In the third term is three. So the first number in nth term would be n, and what will be the next number? Next number is one greater than the number n square plus n. You can check that. That will be the nth term. We can verify this. What will be the first term? Can I say the first term would be how much? One square plus one. Is this the first term like this? One plus one is two. You can see that first term is one into two, two. What will be the second term? In a second term, it would be how much? Two square plus two, that is four plus two, six. Is the second term six? Yes, you can see that second term is six. Two into three. What about the term number four? Term number four should be as per this. This would be four square plus four. Can I say that this will be equals to four square sixteen plus four twenty? You can see that the fourth term is twenty. So. We need to find the sum of twenty terms. So twentieth term would be how much? Twentieth term would be twenty square plus twenty. We don't need to find this. Now we need to add. We need to find the sum of twenty terms. Sum of twenty terms would be t one plus t two up to t twenty. That will be the sum of first twenty terms. How we can find this? You only need to add these to these terms. You only need to add these terms. These are the first twenty terms. Once I will add, you can see that I will get s twenty sum of twenty terms will be equal to one square plus two square plus three square up to twenty square because third term will contain three square plus three plus I will find one plus two plus three up to twenty. That is will be the sum. I know that sum of first n uh, sum of squares of first n natural number. This is equal to uh, I know that this telling you. Uh, One square plus two square plus three square up to n square. I know that this is equals to n into n plus one into two n plus one by six. I will apply this concept. So this will be twenty into twenty one into forty one by six. One to twenty. I know now. I know the sum of first n terms is n into n n plus one by two. This is twenty into twenty one by two. So you can solve this three two the six three seven. Two ten. This is seven into forty one would be how much? Two eighty seven. So this will become into ten. This will become two eight seven zero, and this is two ten the twenty. This is two one zero. So answer will be three zero eight zero will be your final answer. So that will be the sum of twenty terms of the given series. So in every such question, you need to find first the nth term, and then add the terms and you will get your answer question 2 is 3 into 8 plus 6 into 11 plus 9 into 14 up to n terms we need to find the sum of 15 terms now in all such question i told you to find the first n at term so i am finding the n at term how to find the n at term you can see that in a first term the first number is 3 in second term the first number is 6 And in third term, the first number is nine. These three numbers are in AP. You can see that they are in arithmetic progression. So can I find the nth nth term for this? Nth term for the first number. Can I say this will be a plus n minus one into d? A is three, n minus one into d is also three. So can I say this is three plus three n minus? This is three plus three n minus three. This I will get three n. It means that in nth term, 
the first number would be 3n and the same is true for the second uh, number of the every term this is 8 plus 3 11 plus 3 14 this is also a arithmetic progression with first term as 8 and the common difference as 3 so i will also find the another term for this can i say this a plus n minus 1 into d here a is 8 n minus 1 and d is also 3 so we'll get 8 plus 3 n minus 3 this is equal to 3 n plus 5 so a net term for the second number in each term so what will be the final net term this will be 3 n into because they are multiplied 3 n into 3 n plus 5 that will be the nth term you can see that you can verify what will be the first term if i have nth term is this what will be the first term first will term will be 3 into put n is equals to 1 3 into 8 you can check that the first term is 3 into 8 what will be the second term second term will be 3 into 2 6 into 3 to the 6 plus 5 11 everything is okay so i'm just finding nth term this will be equals to 9 n square plus 15n will be your nth term 9n square plus 15n so i am finding the sum of 15 terms i need to find the sum of 15 terms so can i say that here i am calculating what will be the first term t1 t1 will be 9 into 1 square plus 15 into 1 because this is my nth term so this is the nth term so first term would be put n is equal to 1 second term will be 9 into 2 square plus 15 into 2 you don't need to write in this in exam I'm just writing in order to explain you same way the 15th term would be 9 into 15 square plus 15 into 15 now we need to find the sum of these 15 terms sum of these 15 terms as 15 you can see that i need to find i need to sum this i need to add add all these 15 terms once i will add you can see that 9 will come common and this will become 1 square plus 2 square up to 15 square plus 15 will come common i will i can add 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 15 that will be the sum of first 15 terms of this series apply the formula 1 square plus 2 square up to n square the formula is n into n plus 1 n is 15 15 plus 1 16 2n plus 1 that is 31 by 6 plus 15 first 1 to 15 sum this is n into n plus 1 by 2 this is 15 into 16 by 2 so now solve this this is 2 3 2 the 6 3 5 2 8 so you are getting 9 into 40 into 31 plus 2 8 this is 15 into 120 now you need to multiply and find your final answer can i say that this is equals to 360 into 31 plus 15 into 120 you know, now you can take 120 as common what you will left with 3 into 31 plus 15 this is 120 into 3 into 31 is 93 93 plus 15 would be 108 now you need to multiply this this will become 0 will as it is 12 8 is a 96 12 1 is a 12 so 12 9 6 0 will be your final answer third question is 18 into 5 plus 75 into 10 plus 17 into 15 up to n terms you need to find the sum of first 20 terms now you should first pause the video try to solve yourself this question is uh, almost similar to the second question i just discussed so please try to solve yourself now i'm solving this question uh, you can see that again we need to find the nth term what will be the nth term you can see that first number uh, of each term are in ap with a common difference of minus 5 first number 80 75 and 70 they are in arithmetic progression with a common difference of minus 5 so what will be the nth term of this first number this is a plus n minus 1 into d a is the first term that is 80 n minus 1 d very important is not 5 this is minus 5 so you what you will get 80 minus 5 n plus 5 so your 85 minus 5 n this is your n term for the first number what about second number second number you can see that this is 5 
to the 10, 5, 3, the 15. You can straight away write this is 5n or otherwise you can calculate uh, by the AP formula. This will come same. I can straight away calculate because the first term, uh, in the first term, the number is 5, second number. In the second term, the second number is 10. In the third term, the second number is 15. It's a table of 5. So table of 5 is 5n. First term will be 5, second term will be, it will be 10, third term it will be 15 and so on. So what will the combined n at term which will be is equal to 85 minus 5n into 5n because the two num the two numbers are multiplied. So if you multiply this, what you will get, you can take the 5 as common. 5 it will take common 5 into 5 will come common. This will come 17 minus n into n. Can I say this n at term will be equal to 25 into 17n minus n square that will be your final n at term 17n minus n square so sum of 20 terms would be this will be equal to 25 times will be as it is the 17 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 20 minus 1 square 2 square up to 20 square this minus if you take common this will become 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to 20 square and that that will be my sum this is 25 into I know some of first 20 terms 1 to 20 this is 20 into 21 by 2 minus some of first squares of first 20 terms this is 20 into 21 into 41 by 6 now you need to solve this this is 3 7 3 2 2 10 this is 2 10 so what you are getting 75 into 17 into 210 minus this is 2870 we just calculated this will be equals to 2870 this is equals to 25 this is equals to 3570 minus 2870 can I say this is 25 into 700 so answer is 1 25 into 7 is 175 double zero 17500 will be your final answer so in all such question you first need to find the anatom term then you need to find the sum now fourth question is 1 into 2 square plus 2 into 3 square up to 20 terms now you should first pause the video try to find the anatom term i am just giving you a hint in such this case you can find the anatom term by pure common sense Sometimes you don't need to apply AP or GP in order to find the anatom. term. You can find the anatom term by just by common sense. Let me tell you. In the first term, observe carefully. First term, the first number is 1. Second term, the first number is 2. Third term, the first number is 3. So anatom. term, what will be the anatom? term? The first number would be N by common sense. Because in first term, the first number is 1. In second term, it would be 3. In third term, is 3. In fourth term, it will be 4 and in n at term it will be n now what is the next number next number is one more and it's square so this will be n plus one square that will be the n at term first term would be one into one plus one two square second term would be to be put n is equal to two two into three square so by common sense you can find the n at term and this will be equal to n into n square plus one plus two n multiply this equals to this is n cube plus n plus 2n square. So can I see that your n at term is equal to n cube plus 2n square plus n. That is the n at term. Now you, need, you are, now you need to find the sum of first 20 term. First term would be what? This is 1 cube plus twice into 1 square plus 1 and same way 20 at term would be how much? 20 cube plus 2 into 20 square plus 20 you need to sum this and you will get some I'm just giving you a homework final sum would be answer would be 550 just by the same way I did the previous question final answer will be 550 fifth question is 1 cube by 1 plus second term is 1 cube plus 2 cube divided by 1 plus 3 Sec third term is 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube divided by 1 plus 3 plus 5 now by common sense you can find the n at term now everybody should pause the video try to solve yourself then look at the way i have solved so n at term by common sense i'm solving you can see that 
in first term this is only one cube second term this is one cube plus two cube third term numerator is one cube plus two cube plus three cube so a net term the numerator would be one cube plus two cube plus three cube up to n cube you can see that this is term number three it is up to three cube term number two is final term is two cube term number one the final term is one cube so term number n this will go up to n cube and same is denominator this is 1 plus 3 plus 5 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to an n at term that will be the your n at term how to find this we know the sum of first sum of cubes of first n term this is equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square now denominator you can see that this is an arithmetic progression this is an ap this is an ap with first term as a and common difference as Two, you need to find the sum of n terms you can find you know that the sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 2 a 2 a is 1 plus n minus 1 into d what is the d common difference is 2 so what you will get you will get n square n plus 1 by n, n plus 1 whole square this is 4 this is n by 2 if you solve this you will get only n 2 plus 2 n minus 2 you will get 2 n not n and this two and this two will get cancelled out so what you are left with finally this you need to solve you are left with n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 divided by n square this n square and n square get cancelled out so finally your n at term finally your n at term is equal to n plus 1 whole square by 4 now you can easily find this sum n at term would be equal to 1 by 4 can i say this is n square plus 1 plus 2n again uh, the sum of 20 terms would be how much sum of 20 terms would be can i say the 1 by 4 this will be 1 square plus 2 square up to 20 square because n square it will become 1 square plus 2 square up to 20 square plus 1 1 1 it will come 20 times plus twice of 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 20 the way i have sold in the previous question this is equals to 1 by 4 1 square plus 2 square up to 20 square we just we just calculated the answer will be 2870 this is 20 this is 210 we know that this is 210 this was 2870 we have calculated so many occasion this will be 420 so answer would be this will be equals to 1 by 4 double 3 1 0 1 6 double 5 by 2 that will be your final answer so some of these 20 terms will be 1 6 double 5 by 2 that was all about lesson 4.3 questions on series in the all this question we have first found the anatom and then apply the summation formula thank you